The Indian Statutory Commission, commonly referred to as the Simon Commission, was a group of seven British members of Parliament under the chairmanship of Sir John Alsbrook Simon. The Commission arrived in British India in 1928 to study constitutional reform in Britain's most important colonial dependency. One of its members was Clement Attlee, who became committed to Indian independence by 1934 and achieved that goal as Prime Minister in 1947 in the granting of independence to India and Pakistan. At the time of introducing the Montague Kelmsford reforms in 1919, the British government declared that a commission would be sent to India after ten years to examine the effects and operations of the constitutional reforms and to suggest more reforms for India. In November 1927, the British government appointed a commission to report on India's constitutional progress for introducing constitutional reforms, as promised. The commission was strongly opposed by many in India and met with protests in every major Indian city it visited. Prominent Indian nationalist Lala Lajpat Rai led a protest in Lahore. He suffered a police beating during the protest, and died of his injuries two weeks later. Background The Government of India Act 1919 had introduced the system of diarchy to govern the provinces of British India. The Indian public clamoured for revision of this form of government, and the Government of India Act 1919 itself stated that a commission would be appointed after ten years to investigate the progress of the governance scheme and suggest new steps for reform. In the late 1920s, the ruling Conservative government feared imminent electoral defeat at the hands of the Labour Party, and also feared the effects of the consequent transference of control of India to such an inexperienced body. Hence, it appointed seven MPs to constitute the promised commission to examine the state of Indian constitutional affairs. Some people in India were outraged and insulted that the Simon Commission, which was to determine the future of India, did not include a single Indian member. The Indian National Congress, at its December 1927 meeting in Madras now Chennai, resolved to boycott the commission and challenged Lord Birkenhead, the Secretary of State for India, to draft a constitution that would be acceptable to the Indian populace. A faction of the Muslim League, led by Muhammad Ali Jinnah, also decided to boycott the commission. However, opinion was divided, with support for cooperation coming from some members of the Muslim League and also both Hindus and members of the Central Sikh League. An All India Committee for Cooperation with the Simon Commission was established by the Council of India and by selection of the Viceroy, Lord Irwin. The members of the committee were, C. Sankaran Nair Chairman, Arthur Froome, Nawab Ali Khan, Shivdev Singh Uberoi, Dufakar Ali Khan, Hari Singh Gaur, Abdullah Al Mamun Surawardi, Kikabai Premchand and M. C. Raja. In Burma, Myanmar, which was included in the terms of reference of the Simon Commission, there was strong suspicion either that Burma's unpopular union with India would continue, or that the constitution recommended for Burma by the Commission would be less generous than that chosen for India. These suspicions resulted in tension and violence in Burma, leading to the rebellion of Saya San. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Protests and death of Lala Lajpat Rai. The Simon Commission left England in January 1928. Almost immediately with its arrival in Bombay on 3 February 1928, its members were confronted by throngs of protesters, although there were also some supporters among the crowds who saw it as the next step on the road to self-governance. A strike began and many people turned out to greet the Commission with black flags. Similar protests occurred in every major Indian city that the seven British MPs visited. One protest against the Simon Commission became infamous. On 30 October 1928, the Commission arrived in Lahore where it was met by protesters waving black flags. The protest was led by Indian nationalist Lala Lajpat Rai, who had moved a resolution against the Commission in the Legislative Assembly of Punjab in February 1928. In order to make way for the commission, the local police force began beating protesters. Lala Lajpat Rai was critically injured and died a fortnight later. Aftermath The commission published its two-volume report in May 1930. It proposed the abolition of diarchy and the establishment of representative government in the provinces. 
It also recommended that separate communal electorates be retained, but only until tensions between Hindus and Muslims had died down. In September 1928, ahead of the commission's release, Mutilal Nehru presented his Nehru report to counter its charges that Indians could not find a constitutional consensus among themselves. This report advocated that India be given dominion status of complete internal self-government. Noting that educated Indians opposed the commission and also that communal tensions had increased instead of decreased, the British government opted for another method of dealing with the constitutional issues of India. Before the publication of the report, the British government stated that Indian opinion would henceforth be taken into account, and that the natural outcome of the constitutional process would be dominion status for India. The outcome of the Simon Commission was the Government of India Act 1935, which called for responsible government at the provincial level in India but not at the national level that is a government responsible to the Indian community rather than London. It is the basis of many parts of the Indian constitution. In 1937 the first elections were held in the provinces, resulting in Congress governments being returned in almost all provinces. Clement Attlee was deeply moved by his experience on the commission, and endorsed the final report. However by 1933 he argued that British rule was alien to India and was unable to make the social and economic reforms necessary for India's progress. He became the British leader most sympathetic to Indian independence as a dominion, preparing him for his role in deciding on Indian independence as British Prime Minister in 1947. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Members of the Commission. Sir John Simon, MP for Spen Valley Liberal, Chairman. Clement Attlee, MP for Limehouse Labour. Harry Levy Lawson, 1st Viscount Burnham Edward Cadogan, MP for Finchley Conservative. Vernon Hartshorn, MP for Ogmore Labor. George Lane Fox, MP for Barkston Ash Conservative. Donald Howard, 3rd Baron Strathcona and Mount Royal See also Delhi Statement <laughs>